And for more updates, the President, National Association of Resident Doctors, Dili Abdullahi, joins me on the news. Uh, he joins us virtually. Good to have you join us. Good evening. Thank you very much for having me. So I was listening to um, the President of the Association of Resident Doctors, uh, the FMC, Makodi, um, Dr. Fanon Dogo, where he was talking about the fact that they know she's alive because they've spoken to her. Um, what more can you tell us about that? And uh, have you also been in communication with security agencies? Well, thank you very, very much for the opportunity to hear our view. Um, to echo the, the statement of my colleague, yes, we have proof that she's alive, and that was about uh, two weeks now. There was a communication between the family and herself, and she was able to tell them that she's still there. The nephew that is with her is in dire health. She also, she is, uh, her health status is currently deteriorating. But at least, she's, they are both alive right now, and we are hoping to quickly do something to drastic so that we do not have risk a point whereby we lose one or both of them. We've been in contact with the security agents. We've been having contact, but it's sad to say that we do not have any form of clear response on what the plans are from security agents. And the chief security officer in Kaduna State is even yet to make a point of order of this current situation or state anything in that direction. Mm. And you, you have now um, staged a, a peaceful process across the country. At least we've taken some of those reports. What are your expectations going forward? Well, our expectation, the whole idea is to create an awareness about the situation and to call on well-meaning Nigerians. For a very long time, the Nigerian society has always talked about how doctors are living in droves, how important doctors are to stay in society. Now we have one of us in captivity, incarcerated for over seven months, almost getting to eight months right now. And the saddest part of this is from the very beginning, we've actually intimidated security agents about the situation. We followed all their, their guidance strictly, and we've tried to keep some few things there because of the sensitivity of the case. But at this point in time, not crying out may actually be far worse than us keeping quiet. Hence the reason why we started this protest. We are hoping that we can get the federal government and the state government of Cardona to weigh in in this matter and ensure the prompt and unconditional release of our members. And you've given them th till August the 26th to, to do something about this for her release. If that's, that doesn't happen, you've said that you're going to go on, on strike. How long is that strike supposed to last for? Is it, you know, till she's released? Well, as it stands right now, we cannot guarantee what it's going to be like. But it's most likely going to be that we are going to actually just withdraw our services till the federal government or state government. It's the response that we, that we get that will determine. We love the Nigerian community. We, we, we are willing to serve the Nigerian community. But we think it's sad that one of us can be in captivity and the Nigerian co community is not perturbed or bothered about this current situation. We have engaged the major stakeholders, the security agents, the state and the federal government since January in countless uh, letters, that we, official communications that we've reached out to them. With no response. We did this after the first meeting in January, after the second meeting in May, after the July meeting. We actually even released an ultimatum as at the end of July meeting. But we still gave the olive branch, hoping that something will be done. So as it stands right now, most likely when we down to, the association will still have to decide on how long it will be. But it might, have to, it might be that we will need to withdraw our services to we'll get the proper response from the government. All right, thank you so much for your time, um, Dr. Abdullahi. We'll be following up, up with this particular development, and um, if, if anything needs arises, I'm sure we'll have you again to speak with you on this. President thank National you, Association.